Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So Thanksgiving's right around the corner and we have to be cautious during holidays. Narcissists love to ruin holidays. They also love to reappear sometimes. So if you've been discarded or you left them, uh, be cautious that sometimes the holidays, the narcissist will come back into play. So just be aware of that, how to handle it. Um, a lot of you have gone no contact. Some of you have children with a narcissist. So be careful. They might purposely cancel plans that they're supposed to have the kids last minute just to destroy your plans. They might hold the kids against you. So just be aware that that can happen. Also, if you have a toxic family, be cautious on dealing with with them. Uh, there's a lot of toxic families out there because it's when a big group of people get together and sometimes one or two of them might be toxic. So there could be arguments, there could be uh, insults, things like that. Um, how do you deal with it? You know, limited exposure so you can see your other family members. But if it's really draining to you, it, it might be better not to go to the family gathering. Um, each narcissist is different in their toxicity. Uh, they're different on their targets, on who they choose. So it's important to stand up for ourselves to not take the abuse. But what gets hard with narcissists is when you set a boundary, they love to trample all over it. They don't take it to heart on what you're trying to say. And sometimes it can cause extra arguments. So we have to prepare ourselves. Uh, we shouldn't subject ourselves to abuse. We don't need to do that. It's okay not to go to a family outing, but narcissists can feel that they'd rather do something else. So they're going to take it out on their partner they're going to feel stress of either getting the house organized or having to deal with certain people that they don't want to deal with so they're going to act uh, difficult and some of you are still with your narcissist some of you have moved on some of you have narcissistic parents and we have to love ourselves and protect ourselves so there was something that uh, was pretty interesting on empathetic people we have to be careful we don't confuse that with being naive and I struggled with that for the longest time because I grew up super sheltered like terribly sheltered great parents but uh, I wasn't able to experience life so I thought everything was perfect like I wasn't even wa allowed to watch Disney movies because of the evil stepmother in Cinderella like why'd they have to have that um, or even just uh, like family ties uh husband and wife just giving a, a dumb little kiss on the cheek and then my dad didn't like that kind of stuff so I was super sheltered and you you come into this world sometimes thinking that everybody's good people that there aren't really all these crazy problems and you can be blindsided because the narcissist creates an atmosphere in the beginning of being safe, being concerned, being loving. And over time, that mask does begin to, to slip. That they see your um, compassion as a weakness. And when they see a weakness, they pounce on it. And they do that to build themselves up because they're so broken inside so anything that's gonna ruffle their feathers is gonna cause an outburst in some way there, there is a, a buildup of energy that gets within them that they have to release and they release it onto somebody else uh to, to balance things and it's really interesting um how the mind works and the toxicity how it's handled so I've noticed um, healthy relationships have a healthy exchange of energy to where it's not draining 
or it's not manipulated out of someone to where uh, you can give and not necessarily get back. You can give to charities. You can do certain things because it makes your heart feel full. Um, but other times uh, it's, it's different with a narcissist because when you give, it's like a slap in the face you get back. It's different than... Um, just giving it's 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 a negative thing that you get back um because they don't like to acknowledge things uh they hold things against you they think you're manipulating them when you're kind and and so they lash back at you so sometimes too uh you know they're they're gonna badmouth people at the holidays uh or or the the food that is prepared and it, it's sad how they take good things and turn them bad and they do it because they're uncomfortable in themselves that it's almost like they need to put that uncomfort onto somebody else because they they can't just release it um so be careful with your struggles during the holidays because we have been hurt we've been abused and be careful that you're not on edge that you're ready to mingle um because we don't want to be short with people uh dismissive i know sometimes uh we we really hurt and we forget to take in what people are trying to offer. Good conversation. Um, and uh, being cautious of when somebody is being toxic or when it's misinterpreted. Um, it's good to communicate the right way to understand what somebody's saying. They say that... Uh, most of our interpretation of things comes from our own experiences and the narcissist is going to interpret things based on their experiences, their perception and their perception is skewed because of what they went through, that they have a lack of trust for people, or they think that people are going to manipulate or abuse them or abandon them, that they project that onto other people. And it's not fair to do to somebody else, especially so many of us offered true love to the narcissist, but they don't understand true love because they don't have a connection with it. They can uh, cognitively understand empathy and they can react to that, but they don't have the inner feelings necessary for the right kind of communication. And that's where everything falls apart words hurt and stealing somebody's energy or cutting them down can destroy a person so you think the narcissist is safe this time they're not going to act out this time they're not going to do such and such but uh they're they're predictable in being unpredictable to where you never know when it's going to be safe with them and as long as everything's going their way, it's going to be okay. But they're so, so fragile that if they're not getting the attention that they feel they deserve, they're going to take it out on people. Um, it's, it's interesting to see how they are with other people. And sometimes we have to take a step back. And before we start a new relationship, to see how they are with other people, to see how they talk about other people. And it's really interesting. So many of them will say that their exes are crazy or psychos. And, um, you know, maybe if they dated for a few weeks, but sometimes, uh, you know, um, if every ex is psycho crazy, that, that might be a warning sign because narcissists love to drive people crazy and they'll call them crazy. 
the world is so hard to understand now because, uh, you know, even just reading some of these comments, the different viewpoints, and we're confused on what's right and what's wrong, what hurts, what doesn't hurt. Uh, everybody's different. And everybody has their own experiences growing up, their own experiences in adulthood. And it's clear that people are on such different pages. Some people think certain things are funny that uh, are traumatic, like accidents. Uh, some people laugh at that as opposed to seeing how hurt somebody could be. Um, the holidays are coming. And just be prepared. Are you going to go no contact? Are you going to stay home? Are you going to invite them? Um, that's, that's a tough call on what you should and shouldn't do. But sometimes that Hoover comes, and it might not. But don't look forward to it. It's it's not out of true love. Um, I know my uh, second narc, uh, we had gotten back in contact. Uh, he waited probably two, three weeks, knowing he would contact me around my birthday, uh, but knowing I was all upset, calling all the time. I was dumb, but I did that. And they let you hurt. Like if, if he truly cared, he would have contacted me like right away. Like he knew he was going to contact me, but he let me hurt for how many weeks? knowing he would eventually call me for my birthday. And that that's not love. So right now, if they're not reaching out to you, if they're not trying to talk to you, if they know that they hurt you, also be careful when the narcissist tries to say they'll change. It's usually temporary. And it just goes right back to the abuse again. Because they got away with it in the past. And they push their limits. They test the waters to see how far they can push you. And it's just never safe. And what's hard is we love our abusers a lot of the time. Some of us have gotten to that point where we're fed up. Never want to hear from the person again. Um... But others have uh, really put so much of themselves into the relationship. All of us pretty much have. Don't take it the wrong way. But to where we gave away who we were. And so sometimes we feel like we're losing our identity if we walk away or, or don't fix things. Um so we have to rebuild our, our ourselves. The narcissist isn't going to give it back to us. So we're going to feel lost for a little bit. But we're strong enough to rebuild. And, and it's up to us what type of future we're going to build for ourselves as we rebuild it. So think of it as a blank slate where you can create the best you possible. And it's hard when we hurt, but it's necessary. And perspective can make a huge difference in your healing. So some of us can get down, feel that uh, it's God coming down on us or, or, or whatever it is that we're feeling, or we can see and turn it into a blessing that we're free to start over. We're free to feel safe again. And perspective is going to make a big, huge difference. And that's mind over matter. It's something we consciously have to do to change our thoughts, 
which will change our actions, which will change our destiny. We have the power. So take a nap, cry a little, make something delicious to eat, and start rebuilding. It's up to you how long you take to start doing that. But the longer you wait, the more you're missing out on life. Take little baby steps. Pretty soon, those steps are going to be bigger and bigger, and you're going to go by leaps and bounds into a happier future. So please like and subscribe. Have a fantastic holiday. And uh, surround yourself with love. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy Thanksgiving.